Hey guys, welcome back. With Thanksgiving and Christmas and all the other holidays coming up, I thought it would be a good idea to do a prepper recipe using all of the Thanksgiving fixings. Um, so I'm making a Thanksgiving casserole. Um, and you can either use your Thanksgiving or Christmas leftovers to make this casserole, just to kind of change it up a little bit. Or, um, this time of year, all those Thanksgiving side dishes are going on sale at your local grocery stores. So if you're stocking up on them anyway, this is a good prepper recipe to have, um, so that you can make a quick dinner that your family will love. I actually just got done tasting it and it was delicious. I think you're going to like it. Um, so just a quick video. It doesn't take very long at all. And I'll show you this concoction that I just made up called Thanksgiving casserole. Okay, so the ingredients I chose are one box of turkey stuffing mix, a can of cream of chicken condensed soup, two cans of chunk white turkey. These are 10 ounces each. I don't know if I'm going to use one or two. We're going to find out. One packet of turkey gravy mix, the powdered kind, and then one bag of Idahoan, just regular butter potatoes. And some black pepper, some poultry seasoning. I might use some garlic and some other seasonings, but that's just what I've pulled out for now. Um, and I'm going to be making this up as I go. So um, <laughs> I have my casserole dish here. I'm going to go ahead and prepare the stuffing, the mashed potatoes, and the gravy all separately on the stove. Okay, I have one pot over here going with water and butter for the stuffing. I have one pot with boiling water going for the mashed potatoes. Back here I have a pan that I'm going to uh, cook up my turkey, and I did decide to go ahead and use two cans. Um, the oven is preset to 375 because we're gonna bake this in a casserole dish. Um, but I'm gonna throw this straight into the pan. It, it's pre-cooked, but I always like to cook it again anyway, even just a little bit. Okay, mashed potatoes done, stuffing done. This is gonna sit here for just a few. That took all of seven or eight minutes. Okay, the turkey is cooking up. You don't need to cook it too much. I mean, it's pre-cooked and it's going in the oven. Um, and then back here I have my turkey gravy that I just whisked up. It just needs to heat for just a few minutes, come to a boil. Um, the turkey is what I'm unsure of. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to add a can of cream of chicken and some water to it. I don't know exactly how much I'm going to use. That was probably maybe two thirds of the can. Okay, so I have that all evenly mixed, and like I said, I'm making this up, but I kind of wanted it to be about the consistency of what you would want maybe um, the filling for a chicken pot pie to be like. And then I'm gonna turn this down, and I'm gonna season it with some poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning has uh, salt, garlic, oregano, sage, mustard, cayenne, pepper, and paprika. So, I don't know, it sounded like good thing to add to it. I usually put this on top of my turkey when I bake my Thanksgiving turkey. And then just some pepper. Whatever kind of seasonings you guys want. It looks like a pretty good consistency. Okay, this is a total last minute <laughs> change to the recipe. I'm going to add some of my Gossner Farms milk, just a little bit, and then go ahead and add some of these French style green beans. It's going to be kind of like a green bean casserole, but with turkey in it. We'll see how it goes. Maybe you can add some garlic, some pepper whatever you think would be good. 
usually people use cream of mushroom soup when they do a green bean casserole, but I used cream of chicken. Um, probably going to have a similar taste though. I probably don't need all of the gravy, but my idea was that I was going to add the gravy or some of it to the mashed potatoes just to give it some flavor and to be less dry. I will have plenty liquids in this casserole because of the cream of chicken mixed in with the turkey, um, but I just thought the gravy mixed in with the mashed potatoes would give that a good flavor. Guess I'm gonna use all of it. What I originally thought I would do is use about half of the stuffing mix to create almost a crust on the bottom, kind of something to hold it together. Um, I probably should have used two things of stuffing mix because I don't know if it's gonna be enough, but I'm gonna give it a try. So take about half of it and I'm gonna kind of push it down into the bottom and create a crust. At least I think so. <laughs> okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think that's about enough there. And I'm gonna go ahead and bake this for maybe 10 minutes by itself because it is kind of moist. I do wanna see if I can get just a little bit of a crisp on it first. Okay, so I just pulled the casserole dish with the stuffing crust out of the oven, and I don't know if it made much of a difference, but it dried it out just a little bit, so it can be more of a crust, I guess. Uh, my next layer is going to be the mashed potatoes with the gravy mixed in. If you've seen people make like a shepherd's pie with mashed potatoes, um, it's going to be kind of similar to that. I'm going to try to evenly spread this. Alright, that looks about good to me. Next layer is going to be this mixture <laughs> of turkey, green beans, condensed chicken soup, a little bit of milk, and water. And it might be too much um, to put all of this in there, but we'll see. See how it goes. Might be perfect, actually. All right, next layer is done. And then my last layer was going to be the rest of the stuffing mix. And I want this to kind of create a crisp on the top. So that actually turned out about perfect with uh, half of it on the bottom and half of it on the top. And one more improvisation that I'm going to make. Is that a word, improvisation? Uh, I think it is. I'm going to add some of these french fried onions on top to give it some extra crisp. So this is kind of like your green bean casserole and every other Thanksgiving dish rolled into one. And I don't see how it could possibly go wrong. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the oven, maybe 25, 30 minutes. Okay, so I only wound up leaving it in for about 15 minutes because I didn't want my little onions to burn. Um, but feel free to put it in as long as you want. I'm going to let this sit and cool for a few. All right, here's the finished product. I don't know if you can see the layers, really. 
not really, but the mashed potatoes are in there. It kind of does have the crust at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Okay, so that has a ton of flavor. That is awesome. Um, it does have the crisp on the top from the French fried onions. And it basically tastes like your whole entire Thanksgiving dinner in one bite.